Hey guys, it's Hetty, and welcome back to another Art Addicts Alliance video. And this little mask you could see at the very start there was actually my original idea, and I wanted to make it out of plastic bags um, and kind of go into like how they're damaging the environment and like things. This was an alternative of what we could do with them instead of just throwing them in the bin. But it just, I couldn't get it to work how I wanted to. Um, it was a technique, I haven't done it for many, many years. I did it in high school, to be honest, it was the last time I tried doing the technique of melting plastics. But, yeah, so I decided to use air dry clay instead, and I'll go into that in a moment. But first, I want to kind of talk about the plastic bags and stuff like that. Um, because it is a big issue in our society, our world today, that just for our convenience we're kind of just destroying animals and the earth in general. Um, I have like a little note thing of things that we're doing but I don't think I'll go into all of that but anyway one thing that you can really do with plastic bags is use them to create stuff instead. So. Instead of just like using them till they break and throwing them in the rubbish, that look at artists like now I'm not going to try and pronounce her name because it's it's very difficult. But she goes by the name of Silver Crane on the internet, and she makes amazing jewelry, and I mean amazing. I will insert here like some pictures, and as you can see, they're very intricately detailed and. They are just like beautiful and she does actually have a YouTube channel which I will link in the description below. She's only got two videos on there but it shows you the techniques that she uses to make this really really detailed jewellery and yeah it's it's amazing what you can do with those things that you just kind of yeah let's just throw them in the bin you know we don't really need that but instead of doing that we can turn them into something beautiful and save some animals from digesting that plastic. <laughs> but anyway, on to my idea for the mask. As some of you that have been around on my channel will know, I've done a few pieces involving like either inspired by Mother Nature or I called her Nature's Warrior to start with. But that character of mine is actually developing further now and I, as soon as we were picking themes for this month I knew masks was just one that really stood out to me and as soon as the theme was chosen like after you guys picked it I knew exactly what I wanted to like the theme I wanted to go with and that was mother nature um, it is something that really inspires me like trying to get awareness out there sort of thing or just highlighting certain factors of what's going on between nature versus us humans in my art if you get what I mean like one of the alliance pieces I did where the tree was had had a bike grown into it so it's kind of like merging the two and showing the constant battle between them and I thought this would be a good way of I wanted the mask to kind of be like mother nature's mask because my character which I'm I have like a fair few paintings in in the works, like in design stages, for her as like a representative of Mother Nature, and I thought this would be a mask that she could wear to show her pain instead of showing it on her actual face. This kind of shows. I didn't want a smooth, polished mask. I wanted it to be rough and like sharp around the edges. And you can see, I'm like cutting in sort of like tear tracks, as if like her tears of like eroded away the mask and kind of like rivers erode away rocks and stuff like that that's the sort of idea I was going for and in the initial design I did put like an eye on the head and I was trying to think why did I do that would it be like so she can still keep an eye out even though her eyes are closed and it's no I wanted this mask to be a way she shuts herself off from the damage that she's seeing but she's still showing her feelings towards what we are doing to our planet and to her to her baby because she is mother nature and yeah I just wanted it to be a really emotive piece and 
it took me a while to kind of luckily I have these polystyrene heads because I have a fascination with wigs so it made it a lot easier for me to get the form of the mask right and everything instead of kind of guesswork but it took me a while to get the shape that I wanted because I wanted it to look broken away and well kind of like broken down and I decided to add these because I have like these plastic fake plants which I think they're supposed to be in like fish tanks that sort of thing but I use them for my Instagram photos and I thought some of the foliage coming out of the sides kind of as if either eyelashes sort of thing would kind of show at tie into the theme a little more and I don't know I think it just really added that extra little bit just to show that it's inspired by nature or mother nature um, I mean if I was gonna do this again I would there is many other things I would change like, I like the overall shape of the mask how it goes diagonally across the face and how like on one side the tear track completely goes down to the bottom of the mask so it's split open but it's just like getting things a bit more in proportion because it's been a long time since I've used clay and yeah so it took a, it took a bit of getting used to and I was on a bit of a time limit as well so admittedly I was rushing slightly but it's just things like polishing the nose holes up a little bit better and putting some cling film over the head so the mask doesn't get stuck and I have to try and struggle to get it off but yeah it's more like making sure the eyes are even as well because one was a bit lower and one was more detailed than the other but overall I am really happy with how it turned out I was going to paint it but I think the raw look of the clay just really adds to the effect of just showing how she's breaking down slowly but yeah anyway I'm gonna stop rambling on now I hope you enjoy this piece and I can't wait to do the paintings that are gonna go along with this mask and yeah so thanks for watching I will see you in the next video and uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I'm actually gonna post and yeah see you next time bye